What's going on everybody? Trevor here with Maker Experiment and today I want to talk about my journey to buying the new to me Epilog Fusion M240. Why I bought this one, uh, the journey through it, and kind of the buying process in general. So let's get to it. About six months ago I decided that I needed to start looking into a larger laser machine. So my current one, which is over here, is an Epilogue Mini 24, so it's 12 inch by 24 inch capacity. And some of the signs I was getting orders for were, you know, 2 feet in diameter, 24 by 36, and I had to outsource all of that. And here locally, where I am in Vegas, it started at $2.50 per minute, and it just went up from there. So minimum for about an hour of cutting time, which is about what some signs take, it can be at least $150 just to have it cut by somebody else. And then I still had to do all of the post-processing, which made it more expensive to the end customer. So about six months ago, I started looking at a few different machines. I looked at Water Cooled from Laguna, Boss Laser, Full Spectrum. I also looked at brand new ones from Epilogue, Trotec, and Universal. And then I looked at Craigslist as well. So I want to share my journey with you as far as the trying to buy a used machine process, how that went, and then how I ended up with what I have now, which is the Epilogue Fusion M240. The first thing I did was actually start by looking for a used machine on Craigslist. So I searched in pretty much the whole West Coast area. It was California, Oregon, Washington, Colorado, Utah, Nevada, Arizona, New Mexico, and I searched all of those because lasers are a little bit harder to find, so it's harder to find something right near me. So it usually requires, I'd say, at least a five to six hour drive. So that's where I searched. Now, I searched for specific things based on models. So I looked at different model numbers. And eventually I landed on the Epilogue Legend 36 EXT. That's what I was searching for. Now, I found three over the course of maybe three months. All that were within a price range I was willing to deal with, all were pretty good. While I was doing that, I lined up to buy one. And full disclosure, it was about $7,500. And it had a dead tube, which means I'd have to replace that right off the bat, which is about a $1,500 expense. When I went through it, I went ahead and said, yes, I'll take it. I can come look at it this Saturday at the time. And then a few days later, I got a text back saying, oh, I sold the machine, I didn't know you were serious. So that was one laser that was a good deal and it just didn't work out. Now the next one, somebody posted another Legend 36 EXT. They wanted $10,000. And the tube was about two or three years old it didn't need to be replaced yet, but it probably would in the next few years. Well, definitely in the next few, maybe within the next year. So I said, yes, I'm interested. I'd like to take a look. And they said, we've had so much interest that we've actually decided to bump the price up to 18000 which automatically made me say, I'm never dealing with these people. And what happened is they went through bumped the price up to $18,000, and they had everybody disappear. So about two or three weeks later, they were begging me to come take a look at it, and they were trying to sell it still for about $12,500. And I said, you know what? I've seen what you did when you jumped the price up for no reason, so I'm not going to deal with you. So there went laser number two from the used. The last one was one that was in Arkansas, and it was a 120 watt machine, and it was still epilogue. And this one had a dead tube, but because it's 120 watts, and because of when the machine was made, which was in about 2010, the tube is much more expensive because they used to be sourced elsewhere. So a third party used to make the tubes, and replacing the tube was about a $5,000 expense. This was after I'd have to ship it to me, 
and I'd have no guarantee that any of it worked otherwise. So for that reason, I decided not to get that one. And I spent the next month or two searching for more and nothing came up for what I was looking at. Now, the reason I went or was looking at Epilogue or Trotec or Universal was because I've just had bad experiences with the water-cooled glass tube lasers. Some people have great success for what I'm doing where I'm trying to cut for, you know, three hours continuously because I'm switching out signs. I need it to run for three hours or longer for, you know, days. And what was happening with the glass tube one that I had in the past is it wouldn't cut all the way through the quarter inch material, even though it was the same wattage as my Epilogue Mini. And it would, sometimes it would jump in the middle of a job and it would cut 97% of it fine. And then it wouldn't cut 3%. So then I would have to redo the whole thing if it didn't work out properly. To give you an idea on price ranges, the glass tube lasers are a lot less expensive. They usually, for a 24 by 36 inch machine or larger, they start at about $7,500, maybe $8,000, and then they go up. Now, the air-cooled ones, which are Trotec, Universal, and then Epilogue, they all start, for a 24 by 36 inch machine, they start at about 22 23 and then they go up from there. So it's a lot different for the cost, but there's also difference in quality. There's difference in the fact that these are made in the USA. There's differences in performance. There's differences in the tube life. There's a lot of different reasons as to why you might choose one over the other, and you'll hear reasons for both. And I'm not here to bash either kind. I'm just talking about my experience. So personally, I just don't like the water cooled ones. I've just had bad experience in the past. I've known other people doing the same kind of work as far as long-term cutting that also have the issues of performance, not cutting through all the way. And I decided that I was only going to look at air cooled this time. And because of that, I was narrowed down to the three brands I mentioned, Universal, Trotec, and Epilogue. So for me, naturally, because I already have an Epilogue, I decided to primarily focus there. I still looked at the prices for Trotec and Universal. Universal and Epilogue were pretty comparable. Trotec was even more expensive, so I ruled that out because of that. Now, when I went to actually go purely to Epilogue, I decided that I would go to a trade show. So I went to the SGIA Expo here in Las Vegas, and I did look at all the brands that were there. I spoke with Trotec, I spoke with Epilogue, I spoke with Universal about all the new machines, and Epilogue at the time was the only one that said, you know, if the new ones are out of your price range, we can talk to you about pre-owned ones when we get them in. So just give us a call if you come to the decision that you want to move forward and start looking more seriously, and we can look at what pre-owned machines we have at the time. Now, they don't stay there for long. They usually sell within one week of posting to the website. So this time, what I did was I actually called Epilogue one day, and I said, look, this is a machine I'm looking for. It's the only one that meets the requirements for the size that I need. Do you have any pre-owned machines? And the guy said, well, we just sold one we had, but let me check in the back. And it turned out they had two. One was a 50 watt and one was a 75 watt. Now, when I went through this, they gave me different options still. But just the base machine, now this is two years old, I think. It had one owner before me. They go through a complete refurbish. They put a new tube in it. They clean all the mirrors. They clean all the lenses, replace anything that has to be replaced. And when I did this, I decided to upgrade from a 50 watt to a 60 watt. Going to a 75 watt was even more expensive, so I decided not to do that. But they worked with me. And I ended up getting 
my laser, which is the Fusion M240 with the rotary attachment, a vector table, the freight to my house, and I actually put it in my garage, as well as the eView camera system, all for less than just the machine is brand new. So I saved probably $10,000 or more by getting a pre-owned system that was a couple years old, and it's still the same technology. It's still the same machine. It was just made two years ago. So there was no downside really for me to doing that, and there was a huge upside of the cost savings. I plan to do another video on all the specs on that machine specifically, and the, the little hiccups I ran into setting it up because I already have a machine and there's some IP address issues that had to be worked out. But once all that was done, it's, it's a fantastic machine. It cuts faster than the 40 watt. It cuts much larger stuff and it engraves faster too. That being said, if you have any questions about the one that I bought or the two that I own now, uh, the bigger one right now is actually a lease program, so it's monthly payments, kind of like a car, and then you have the option to buy it at the end. And with that being said, if you have questions about them, if you want to know anything laser related that I might be able to help with, please reach out to me. I'm on Instagram at Maker Experiment. I also reply to comments on here. And if you like what you see, please comment and subscribe because I'm going to try to do more content videos in 2019 about lasers, the projects that I do, and try to share that journey with you guys and just bring out new content. So again, if you like what you see, please subscribe. I'm going to try to release at least one video a month. I know that's not a lot, but with my schedule and with kids and orders, it's just hard to get to it. So I'm going to do it as often as I can. And I'm going to commit to once a month and I'll do my best to do more than that. So bear with me. Again, you can follow me on Instagram at Maker Experiment. And I hope you all have a good day. See you next time.